You know, a lot of photographers get really frustrated because they read our articles on recommending some products and they get a little angry. They say, well, I don't have that kind of money to buy that flash or that lens or that monitor or that profiling kit. What can I do in the meantime in order to make things better? Well, that's a really tough question to answer and let me show you why. Uh, this little piece of video that I'm making is created in our studio and we're really lucky to have a daylight studio, meaning all the fluorescent lights that are up in the ceiling here are all color corrected to be daylight. They're 5500, actually a little higher than 5500K, but you can photograph under them and they're wonderful. Well, it also allows us to make great screen to print match and you know that's one of the topics that I've covered a million times over. Lots of video on that if you're more interested in it, but when people say will, the, the lowest cost monitor that you recommend for good quality photography is, you know, 800 bucks, 900 bucks. So what do you do if you don't have that kind of money? Well, I see on the web and I'll read in some magazines that there are certain resources that will say, oh, you know, Dell has a new monitor and Samsung has a new monitor and even our friends at NEC have a new monitor that's $400 and the color is great and it's perfect for photographers. Well, it's not. It may be perfect for, for weekend photographers that want to just get close when it comes to color, but as professionals, we need to have a certain level of color accuracy that we expect on a monitor, right? Let me give you an example. Here is a really good monitor, but not for professional photography. It's clear and sharp and the colors are nice. And if you were using this for word processing or it was just connected to your PC or your Macintosh and you just use it every day, it's a very good monitor at a good price. This is one of NEC's lower cost monitors. This is a model P221W, okay? It's been touted as accurate color and it's good for photographers. Well, it's, it's not. If you're really trying to be able to take a picture with your camera, see it on the screen, make whatever adjustments you want to it, send it out to a lab, or if you have a high-end inkjet printer, you wanna get an accurate print, well, here's what happens. Here is our test print, and later in this article here, if you look on this page, you'll be able to download this file. I'll give it to you. It's the same one we use here for our primary testing. We do secondary testing as well, but we want to be able to hold up this print in a color-corrected studio, which this is, and put it next to this screen and see that they're the same. But look, they're nowhere near the same. Look at the skin tones. Look at the vivid dress. Look at the posts. If you want to do color swatches, you can certainly do that. We don't do that very much here, but look at the difference in those greens. Now, this screen came right out of the box, okay? I got the box. Hold on. <laughs> there you go. There's the box. Why? Well, we have to test them. I would love to be able to go to ShootSmarter.com and say, guys, a $500 monitor is now available that you can buy and you can profile with the lowest cost of our monitor profiling tools. And the testing that I did this morning, I've got a whole, as you can see, a whole bunch of monitors back there to test. The testing I've done is with our lowest cost i1 display 2 system. We don't normally do our first level of testing with our high-end monitor profiling stuff, right? The i1 extreme stuff. We want to be as affordable as possible, but can you use this for professional photography to adjust your files? No. No. Well, Will, I only have $500 in my budget. You know what I say? Save it. Don't buy this if that's what you're expecting it to do. Save up until you got enough money to buy one of the $800, $900, $1,200, $1,500 $1, monitors. Why? Screen to print match is vital for professional photography. And you young photographers, I want to give you a great big hug. And I want to tell you, hang on, I know it's expensive and I know it sounds complicated, but it's really not. You've got to have screen to print match. You've got to be able to know what's on your computer screen is what you're going to be able to deliver to your client. If not, you're just doing the guess and check thing. You're printing, taking a look at the print, changing the file, don't know why you're changing the yellow colors because it looks fine on the screen. You got to forget that. But you know what else you got to forget? There are no bargains when it comes to monitors other than the ones that are on this page. So all the other spots that you go, and I'm not trying to pick a fight. That's not what I do. I'm just telling you, look, I've got a really cool daylight balance studio and I have all the technology and I'm a pretty smart fella. And I know 
that doesn't match. And if I were to take this monitor out and put one of those in the same spot, profile it with a low cost profiler, put this right next to it, it matches like a champ, right? Right on. If you want more screen to print match info, our screen to print match, I think it's screen to print match videos available on DVD or you can watch it on Shoot Smarter TV. So thanks for letting me rant a little bit and I wish I could help you with the low cost monitors. And the NEC folks, if you watch this video, look, we love you. Your other monitors, we love. We recommend them super duper. This one for photographers, not so much. So from a beautiful sunny Sunday in Montgomery, Illinois, it's Crockett. See you later. Make sure you read the rest of this article, okay? Bye.